Hey everybody, I'm Chris and this is my channel Chesapeake Chris. Thanks for stopping by. This week, as promised, we're going to start to cover some of the individual hacks and modifications I did to my kayak. Stick around, because you're not going to want to miss any of these. I just want to mention one thing real quick. I believe in giving credit where credit is due. Many of the ideas I got for doing modifications to my kayak, I got from other YouTube videos. There's one channel in particular that I got quite a few ideas from and I just wanted to mention it. I hope the gentleman doesn't mind me mentioning it, mentioning his channel on my channel. But the name of his YouTube channel is Kayak Hacks Fishing. He's got a wonderful channel. He's been doing it for years. He's got a lot of good videos on there. I guarantee he's got some videos on there that you will like and use. Look him up. He's got some good information. Showing how my kayak is set up for fishing is going to be split up into three videos. A lot of people don't like long videos, and neither do I. And neither do we. Keep them short or we'll unsubscribe. So, let me start by first saying that when I set my kayak up for fishing, it's not a competition to see who can get the most equipment and stuff on their kayak. Some people have seen my kayak and said, boy, that's a lot of stuff you got on your kayak. Well, I really only have the things that I need for safety and the things that I actually use when I'm out fishing. I'll be honest, in the past, I've made some modifications to my kayak when it's in the garage. Seemed like good ideas, but when I got them out on the water, yeah, not so much. They weren't really good ideas and they didn't work really well. So keeping all that in mind, let's get started. My kayak is a Lifetime Tamarack Pro. It's 10 foot, 3 inches long is about $350 at Walmart when I bought it last winter. First of all, everything on my kayak either floats or is attached to it in case I capsize. Nobody plans on or likes to capsize, but you have to plan for it. It may happen someday. Okay, we'll start at the front. On my handle on the front, I have my orange safety flag attached. That's the end that hangs off the bed of my truck when I haul up my truck. So I got a flag on it. Then, I used a good heavy duty stainless steel carabiner to attach my three purpose rope that I made. It's discussed in my previous video. Then, I placed my if found contact sticker here in the front i also carry a spare length of rope for emergency use for me or other people and since this is the front end is the end that sticks out of my truck when i haul it and i pull it out and put it on my cart the front end is where i put those bimini top strap pad eyes and i just have one of those cinch straps and i keep it on my kayak all the time um, that's the handle that I added also. But I keep it on my kayak all the time. That way when I pull it out of the truck, I just take that sin strap and strap it to my portable cart wheel down to the water. Moving on to this side, I have my homemade fish finder transducer mount. It's made from three quarter inch PVC and it swings up, because I didn't glue that joint, so it's out of the way when I'm storing it or when I'm first launching, you know, before I launch it into the water. I mounted it to this device rail that I installed on my kayak. And by the way, you can buy this rail from Amazon. I think it's called Woodworker T-Track. You can get T-Track and T-Bolts. It's much cheaper than the kayak device rail that you can buy. It's pre-drilled 
So you can put it on with stainless steel screws, put a little bit of marine goop on them, you're good to go. But that's where I mounted my transducer mount for my fish finder. And for this homemade transducer mount I made, that joint, like I say, is not glued, so it'll turn. But then I, I drilled a hole in it and I just put like an Allen wrench or you can put a bolt in it or whatever to hold it there in place. If you take it out, you can swivel it down. I drilled another hole so I can put the Allen wrench back in it at that point and it'll keep it where it's supposed to be. Uh, I don't know. It was pretty simple. And it works well. And my transducer cable runs up here. Whoops. Goes to my fish finder. My fish finder I actually mounted on a magnet. I mounted a magnet with a bolt and some nuts to the bottom of my fish finder. And I mounted a big stainless steel washer to my kayak using marine grade goop. That holds it my, down my fish finder. It keeps it in place, but it's easily removable if I want to. My battery from my fish finder is down here through my hatch. It's mounted with uh, in this watertight box, and it's actually secured to the bottom of my kayak with Velcro tape. But I drilled a little hole through that box that I could run the power wire out and then the power wire runs through my kayak and comes out up here and goes to my fish finder. So that's how my fish, fires, fish finder is wired up for the transducer and for the 12 volts power. It's kind of hard to show you, but I can actually slide my box forward a little bit, open it up. And like I said, my battery's in there. To make it fit tight so it wouldn't slide around, I just put a little bit of pull noodle in there. And I wire nutted a splice into it. And I put an adapter. I say it's hard to film this and show you. I put an adapter here on it. There it is. That's wire nutted into it. And what that adapter fits is that adapter fits a little battery charger that I bought off Amazon for. I bought this little Moto Power battery charger maintainer off Amazon also. And like I say, you can see it's just a little thing. But uh, the adapter wire nutted onto my battery is the other end for this. So I can actually take this little battery charger, plug it in. And I can charge my battery while it's actually still in the box and down there inside my kayak. So I really don't have to take it out of my kayak to charge it. And I mounted that box back just a little bit so that I can drop my little bucket back down in there that came with it. And I just keep a few things in here. This is actually a, a cheap old holder for CDs for like in your car and I keep I keep some rigs in that some hooked rigs and then I got a first aid kit in there so yeah so that fits back in there and like I say there's where my hooks are and then this is my homemade PVC mount for my action camera it'll turn back and forth It'll adjust up and down, but I snap my camera into that. I plug my external microphone in, and then it gets a good view of me paddling, catching fish, whatever. Once again, I made that myself. I mounted it low so it wouldn't get in the way, but it gets a pretty good shot of me fishing, paddling, whatever. And to hold my paddle, I actually, when I'm storing it or transporting it, I actually use the bungee cord paddle holder that came with the kayak. It works fine. But when I'm out on the water and I'm fishing using my paddle, um, it's a pain to put my paddle in there with that bungee cord. So what I did is I mounted a Yak Attack paddle holder here onto my device rail. I put a little extension on it with some of that T-Track you can buy. I put that on it in the front and then I didn't have another Yak Attack paddle holder. So I basically just took an inch and a half PVC coupling, I cut it in half, and I mounted it to my track back here. So now I can just lay my paddle in there when I'm out on the water fishing, 
and it's so much easier to get it in and out of that than to secure it with that bungee cord. I also wrapped some, I believe it's tennis racket handle wrap. I put some of that around my paddle. Works great. Um, keeps you from getting blisters, you know, paddling if you're paddling a lot and it makes paddle a lot easier to hold on to, a lot more comfortable. And my paddle supposedly floats. I never tested it, but I got a paddle leash on it. I just clipped it onto the handle of my kayak. It's elastic. So that's a paddle leash in case I would drop my paddle. I won't lose it. And my paddle has drip rings on it. Keep the water from dripping on me. I'll tell you what, I saw this on another YouTube video. Put a little bit of duct tape right there on your paddle. That works so much better than these drip rings. That little piece of duct tape right there will keep the water from dripping on you when you're paddling, believe me. Okay, I think for part one, we'll stop right there, leave it at that. On part two, we got a lot of good stuff to cover. Things like my paddles and paddle holders, rods and rod holders. It's a lot of good PVC hacks. Gonna take a real close look at my anchor trolley and my anchor rig. Yada, yada, yada. And you're not gonna want to miss any of them. So be sure to tune in to the next video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, you know the drill. Give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Give me some good comments. And I'll see you on the next video.